China is known for pursuing ambitious projects from the Great Wall of China and much more recently gigantic megacities and even plans to create the world's tallest building called Sky City. However, a new project drafted up by AT Design Office may be their most ambitious project yet. As China's population and economy continues to boom, its effects on both the environment and the health of the Chinese citizens is beginning to take its toll. As a recent study suggests, smog levels in the city of Beijing are four times above the recommended level. Because of this, the average resident has their lifespan reduced down 15 years on average. To combat, China is enforcing strict measures and considering all options. One of the options that is being considered is creating a floating city that is partially underwater and also partially above water. It is literally called the floating city and the designers claim that it will be entirely self-sufficient. To do this, it will need vertical farming, eco-friendly electric cars and efficient transportation to and from the floating city. The city would be built into hexagonal sections and dotted with trees all throughout the structure. However, such a project is still decades away from becoming a reality, since some of the technologies, including vertical farming, green technologies and general inexperience in underwater engineering, make the project not possible for the near future. With that being said, the China Transport Investment Company, the company that commissioned the designs from AT Designed, only commissioned the designs so they can get an idea of the capabilities and limits of building an underwater city. The company is considering building a smaller scale version of the city next year off of the coast of Hong Kong, making this project actually somewhat more grounded in reality. With China's increasing drive to combat pollution and overpopulation, a floating city may one day be more than just a pipe dream. So what do you think of floating cities? Would you trust current engineering technology enough to live in an underwater city? Leave a comment below with your thoughts.